And according to Wikipedia, the diddly bow is a single stringed American instrument which influenced the development of the blues sound. It consists of a single string of baling wire tensioned between two nails on a board over a glass bottle, which is used both as a bridge and as a means to magnify the instrument's sound. Well, obviously, I don't have baling wire and I don't have a brass bottle, but the rest of it seems to be pretty much on par. There's just a billion ways to make these. Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here. What the heck is that? Ah, what? That's a dowel. And it's also a diddly bow. Guitar neck. I'm making a diddly bow. It's going to be a two stringer. And it's going to be relic, which means beat up. So I beat up this box a little bit. Made it look like it's a little bit, uh, well, used, right? Relict, that's what they call it, relict. Use sandpaper and then I use a couple of other tools here. That doohickey right there, just kind of banging around on the box. Gives it some uh, weatherization. Let's see, what else do I use on this? Of course, sandpaper helps a lot and then I use this little chainsaw uh, sharpener. This comes in handy for a lot of things, making cigar box guitars, believe it or not. You just beat it up, what you do, see? Put some gouges in it. Make it look like it's about 20 years old. Then we're going to put the neck on it. So I have already made the headstock here. And I'm gonna slice out a chunk back here and then we'll put the neck in like this and then we'll put the pickup in and then we'll crank it up. All right, so I've already made the, uh, the markings, by the way, for the frets. I don't know if you can see those fret markers. So this will be a 25 and a half inch scale, two stringer. I'll probably tune it to A which would be a G string, or, or I'm sorry, an A string and a D string. But you can put whatever strings on it that you prefer. You can put an E string or A string, D string, G string. Always tune your G string, normal. All right, the next thing I need to do with this is spray it, make it a little bit shiny, but not too shiny because like I said, it's relic. So I'll put a little coating on your clear coat and then I'll sort of, uh, sand it down just a little bit to make it look like it's uh, 30 years old or something. Now, when I make these, they're not perfect, and that's by design. There's a couple of little flaws. For instance, one of these tuners is slightly off kilter compared to the other one. And uh, when I gouged out this right here and sanded it, it looked too perfect. So I sanded a little bit too much on one side, just a little bit too much. So it looks like it's homemade, right? That's the whole idea. And then I'll, of course, paint the uh, prep markers where those dots are once I get the neck installed. So what is a diddly bow? It's a two string or a one string or a three string, or I guess, can you have more than three strings? I, guess, I suppose you could. Anyway, uh, it's basically a slide guitar. So when you play it, just pretend like there's a box on the end of this. When you play it, you play slide like this. It's just a rounded dowel neck and there's no frets on it which means you can press down the string, depending on how you build it. If the strings are low enough, you can press down the string and you can fret notes without frets. Those fretless uh, string instruments have been around for ooh, thousands of years. So you can either do it that way. I prefer not to put frets in it because I want it to be old fashioned. So you can also slide on it and not press down. And uh, you'd be amazed. You would be amazed how many songs you can play and how many cool riffs you can come up with with two strings. Um, there was a band. And uh, the uh, bass player had a two string bass. And I don't remember if he tuned it G, D, something like that. But uh, he played a two string bass 
and that was the main riff of the or main instrument of the band. They had a saxophone, drums, and two string bass, no guitar, no keyboards, no nothing else. So check out that band. Cool songs you can play with a diddly bow. So once I get the neck in to the box, the rest of it is pretty straightforward. I'm going to make it just like a regular cigar box guitar. I'm going to put a uh, input jack here and a volume control there. The neck's going to come out here. I'm going to put some weight wood in here so it balances like this instead of balancing like that. You want it to be slightly balanced or slightly crooked. So you want it to be balanced like this to where the rear end kind of hangs down just a bit. Don't you like it when your rear end hangs down? That way, it's easier to play, and it gives extra sustain. Sustain, it's all about sustain, can't you? You can still hear it, it's still sustaining. Spinal tap. All right, so, I guess that's it for now. I'll be back later. All right, so I have the dowel neck installed with the fret markers, tuning machines, logo, this is a relic box, which means it's sort of beat up. So I'm not going to put a shiny finish on it. These are great boxes, by the way. Plenty of room to put your pickup in there, or a couple of pickups if you choose. I've got the volume control, and of course the jack already installed. The best way to uh, relic these is just to kind of scratch them up with your different tools and uh, scratch them up with your uh, sandpaper. I've got heavy duty sandpaper, like uh, 60 grit. Uh, that's a good one. And then I usually use, after the 60, I'll go down from there and maybe use a little bit of the 120. Here's a pretty beat up 120. And then the 220. And then, uh, I finish it off with the 320, but I don't do, I, I just do a real quick sand. And when I say real quick, like 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and I'll grab the next sandpaper and then do 15 or 20 seconds on that. You want it to look beat up. So I've got a couple of dings that I put in here with my tools and I rounded off the corners here to give it that used look. You want it to look, you know, 15, 20 years old and banged up. So on the inside here, I've got weight wood. And that helps it to balance. So that's the weight wood in the rear of the box. And then here's more weight wood on the side. So what that does is it keeps it from being nose heavy. So you don't want it to sit like this when you've got it strapped on. You want it to sit like this when you've got it strapped on. So uh, that's why I put the weight wood in. It increases sustain drastically. And I've got the uh, strap holder. I use old fashioned bolts for that. And the next step, of course, would be to put the strings on. So I'm gonna cut a slot here and put a bolt across here for the uh, nut. And I've already got the uh, fret markers. And then the pickup is gonna go somewhere in the middle here. I haven't quite decided exactly where. So I'll be back with another update. Okay, so I've got the string on, one of them anyway. And this will help me determine where the nut will be. So I'm gonna cut a slot right here and I'm gonna put a screw in that slot and that's going to be the nut. And the string goes, of course, over wrapped around the screws on the rear of the uh, guitar there. So this string is here to help me determine where that slot is going to be. And I will put the uh, other string on. Okay, this is my typical bridge setup here. Got two screws where the strings will wrap around and I've got the tailpiece screwed in. So the strings are gonna be wrapped around that screw and this screw and they're gonna wind around the tuners up on that end. 
single coil pickup embedded in the box those two screws are the pull pieces and those two screws touch the pull pieces inside I've got a wood bridge back here and I've got a metal screw up here for the nut and this is tuned I believe let me get my tuner here and I'll tell you what it's tuned to I think it's AD. Yeah. This is tuned A and D. A string, D string. And the white wood helps to sustain the notes. The white wood helps with the sustain, so it gives it a nice big fat tone. I'm running through the uh, micro cube here. I'm going to adjust the tone just a little bit i'm on the classic setting and i'm going to turn up the uh, gain just a little bit <laughs> also got the markers on the side so when you're playing like this you can see the fret markers and when you're playing like this you can see the fret markers what pretty straightforward I made a ton of these I mean a ton I mean a ton times 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 a ton probably 500 I don't know a lot very straightforward build process so this is flashing for the uh, tailpiece bolt for a strap I usually keep all these stickers on it got a little sticker over here manufacturer sticker and then uh, logo over here And that is pretty much it. It is uh, relic, so I've got it kind of beat up a little bit. If you look close, you can see some scratches and so forth. And so forth. I uh, chose to use a wood bridge. Why? Why, Jag, did you chose to use... Do, did you chose... <laughs> why did you chose to use a piece of wood for a bolt, Jag? Well, I choose it because it was just sitting here. I got a drawer full of little tiny pieces of extra wood and this little tiny piece was in there and I thought that would probably work just fine. Now, if you put a bolt in there for a bridge, it might be just a bit brighter. Not sure, sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. Just have to give it a go and see what you get. There you go, folks two string dilly bow you can use obviously any strings you can use the e string and the a string if you like you can do two e strings huh what two why why would you do yep i've had people that want two a strings two g strings two d strings you know whatever i do whatever they ask me to do and then i make it and i ship it and then i get paid it's sort of how it works so i hope you enjoyed the series on this particular dilly bow. These patron boxes are great boxes. I like them because they're big. They give you lots of room to mess around with, lots of room to put the weight wood in down here. I've got weight wood here, and I've got weight wood here. So that makes it kind of balanced like this rather than that. All right. 
and these are poplar dowel uh, necks which are pretty light they're already rounded at the store and they're pretty light so weight wood is pretty much a necessity all right thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time